Hello, and welcome to your 60-minute vinyasa flow, courtesy of City Yoga. My name is Thomas Renner, and I'll be taking you on a 60-minute journey for your chakra opening of your throat. So please join me in this amazing communicative journey about opening up through the fifth chakra of your energy system. So we'll be starting on our spine, on our back, in Sutta Bhattara Konasana, and just meet me there. As you've now found your way to Supta Bhatta Konasana, the knees are out wide, butterfly opening. Bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly, and just imagine that this is your opportunity to connect all of your chakras that we've been working through from the root to your sacral, all the way up into your throat chakra. Where your thyroid lives. Your thyroid is that opportunity for your energy in your body to flow. It creates the energy there. And what color are you going to associate with that energy flow today? Your throat chakra is identified by that blue. A cerulean turquoise blue. Maybe visualize that as it moves through your body. Take a deep breath in. Sigh it out. We're going to be exploring that exhale more later today. Inhale. And sigh it out. Once more. Inhale. Sigh it out. Next inhale, take your hands outside your knees, draw them to the midline of your body, bring them in towards your chest, and just find some gentle lateral movement here, moving the body side to side. Making your way to a happy baby, grabbing the outer edges of your feet, just giving yourself that space in the hips, maybe movement is here, bending and straightening one leg at a time, or maybe just stillness. Keeping that breath moving through your body. Maybe you begin that ujjayi breath as you seal the lips. Just gently release that, draw the knees back into your chest, connect your inner thighs, then take your knees off to the left, open your right arm to the right side of the room and gaze towards your right hand. As you gaze towards that right hand, you can keep your eyes closed if you want, you can guide your knees over with your left hand if that feels good to you as well. It's just an easy spinal twist, allowing the energy and the breath to move the body without force. Keeping your inhalations and exhalations even. One more breath. Coming gently back through center. Knees come back into your chest and float them off to the right side as you gaze off to your left. Remembering that as we open up that throat chakra, it's where that communication lives. And how you communicate gently and lovingly to your own body resonates to how you're going to communicate to the outside world. Gently coming back through center, Bring the knees one final time, compress the hips in towards your chest, grab the backs of your knees, give me three or four rock and rolls forward and backwards, massaging for your entire spine, using the breath, and meeting me in a box pose, crossing the ankles, taking yourself all the way to the back of your mat. So when you find the toes of the back of your mat, your hands underneath your shoulders, Knees underneath your hips, spread the fingers wide, long neutral spine. Take a few breaths and cat and cows on your own for a second. We're gonna to come together, but I want you to articulate your spine and how it feels best to you. And just experience the body moving through space. Maybe you feel the hips move. Maybe you snake the body. Maybe you give yourself a shoulder roll and a head roll and come back to that gentle neutral spine. From here, 
I want you to take your fingertips and flip your wrist facing towards your knees. As you do so, keep your fingers spread wide and then just move forward and backwards, just gently. Feeling the forearm stretch. Using that energetic breath flow again, if that ujjayi breath has begun, utilizing it. And then come back to that neutral spine, keeping your hands as they are, and kind of bend your elbows back towards your knees. It can be a micro bend, and it may be super intense on your wrists, totally okay. Just lean into that and use your breath. Take one more breath in. And then replace that back to that neutral space. Once you catch that neutral space, pull that belly right back in. Now the top of your palm comes onto the mat facing towards your knees. So we're giving that self that counter stretch, giving that movement forward and backwards again. Fantastic. Really, really great job keeping that long neutral spine, keeping the breath moving, relaxing the face, neutral spine, flip the wrist right back over. Give yourself a cat and cow as you first lower the belly, inhale, shine the heart forward, then exhale all the way as you arch the spine towards the ceiling, articulate the pelvis underneath you. Again, inhale to lengthen, pushing the floor away, exhale, arching the spine. One last time, inhale, and then exhale, gently make your way back to a neutral spine, engaging in some tiger breath. So imagine that when you inhale, you come through your nose, your lips are sealed. And when you exhale, you open the mouth, you stick your tongue out as far as you can, and you release it out like a roar. So inhale. Again. Imagine you open your face wide one last time. Return to your gentle ujjayi breath, keeping the knees underneath the hips. Keep your shins pressing down to the mat. Walk yourself to a puppy pose. Your hands come all the way out towards the front of the mat. You let the chest fall. Now bring the chin onto your mat. As you have the chin on your mat, your gaze is going forward, so you're opening up underneath your armpits. The shoulder is opening deeper, and your throat is reaching towards the floor. Now relax your jaw. Relax the tongue. Even though your gaze is forward, relax your gaze. One more breath in. Pull the belly in, press your palms firmly into the mat, shift your weight forward onto your belly so we find a low cobra. But how we do this is we take the hands and you take the fingertips on top of the mat. Pull the belly in, squeeze your inner thighs together, place the forehead on the mat. As you inhale, you lift. And as you exhale, you lower. Use the lower body. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower that down. Last time, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower that all the way down. And then bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Take your elbows right by the side of your body. Pull the belly in. Take your knees wide. Push yourself back to a child's pose. As you engage in this beautiful child's pose, remember that this can be your home base, right? So anytime you need to come back to a safe space, any emotions start to arise as you truly begin to allow the energy to communicate with you through your body. This is the place you can go. Find a few cleansing breaths. Firmly plant the hands down on the mat. Tuck your toes. We make our way to our first downward facing dog. Now, much like our cat and cow, you want to find some energy movement flowing. Maybe pedal your dog out. Maybe bring your feet wide if that feels good to you. Maybe you bring them together. But it's allowing the energy to be equal. Right hand, left hand, right foot, left foot. 
and then find a strong downward facing dog. Once you get there, you're super strong, so take your feet wide for the width of the mat. Then walk your hands about six inches in, so you're sharpening your dog. Take a deep breath. As you exhale, the right hand comes outside your left calf. Look underneath your left armpit. For that gentle twist. Let the ujjayi breath speak for itself. Inhale. Exhale. Your next inhale takes your right hand back to the mat. Inhale. Exhale. Left hand outside your right calf. Look underneath that right armpit. Last breath in. And then exhale that left hand back. So take your downward facing dog to back to where it feels the strongest. Maybe it's a little bit longer. We're gonna inhale to a high cobra. Shift your weight forward, let the hips fall, connecting to your glutes. Open the heart and the shoulders. Drop them down. Take an inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Twice more, inhale to that high cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Last time, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, hold for three breaths. Once more. Inhale, the right leg high. Open the hip, find some hip circles. One direction, then the opposite direction. Inhale, the right leg back high. Shift your weight forward, drive the knee in towards your forehead. Step it through, Salamba Anjane. Low supported lunge. Firmly plant that right foot down, shift your weight forward. Raise the arms high. Feel the energy connect the front side of your left leg. So you're opening up that hip flexor. Relax the shoulders. From here, heel toe your right foot, the outer edge of the mat. As you inhale, reach higher. Exhale, lizard pose. Plant the hands inside your right foot. Tuck your back toes, straighten the leg. Firm up the left glute. Shift your weight forward and back. Keeping that gentle up dog in the chest. Now walk your hands to a diagonal towards the left corner of your mat. I have uh, smashed my pinky finger in between two cinder blocks. So forgive me as I have a little bit of a shortened range of motion here. Breathing. Walking it calmly back through center. Drop the back knee, half splits, Ardha Hanumanasana. Shift your weight back, flex the toes back towards your face. If you feel that shifting into the hip, make sure the hips are square. Square towards the front of your mat. Maybe you grab the toes, reach them back towards. For that gentle up dog in the chest, take a deep breath in. Exhale, Salamba Anjane. Shift the weight back. Now, do you want to tuck your back toes? Reach the arms high. Let the chest open. Exhale, runner's twist. Plant the left hand down. Right arm comes high. Gaze towards your right fingertips. Horizon lunge, outer edge of your left foot. Reach the right arm from the back of the room. Push through your left hand. Reach it back forward. Right arm reaches forward, left arm reaches forward. Step your left foot up to meet the right, rag doll. Grab opposite elbows, maybe the creases of your elbows. Just let the gentle release happen. And that root chakra, the base of your spine, open up. We're gonna return to that tiger breath. I want you to inhale, lift to lengthen, exhale, Forward fold with the tiger breath. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, lift and lengthen, exhale. 
bend the knees slightly, roll all the way up one vertebrae at a time. Sweep the arms all the way up towards the ceiling, palms connect, steeple grip the fingers. Inhaling deeper as you give yourself a slight back bend, exhale forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant the hands down, step back into your plank. Firm up the legs, drop the knees down first, chest and your chin, and be here. Feel the arms drawing in towards the center of your body. Feel the relaxing of your tongue and your jaw. Now as you gently snake it through to your low cobra, squeeze the elbows behind you, take an inhale, exhale, child's pose. Take yourself right back. Remembering this is your gentle home base. You're always welcome to bring yourself back here at any point. Connecting to breath. Connecting to creation. Connecting to that energy source that flows through your body. That energy located right by your thyroid that regulates that energy. We're opening and we're cleansing that space. Come back to a downward facing dog. Tuck your toes. Lift the hips. Take a deep breath in. Maybe side out. Your next inhale takes your left leg high. Open up the hip. Find some hip circles there. One direction. Then the next. Inhale, back through center, shift your weight forward, drive the knee in towards your forehead, step it through, Salamba Anjane, low supported lunge. Same deal on this side. We're just opening up that hip flexors. You shift your weight forward, you're grounded through that left foot. Your left knee is right in line with your left toes. Energy flows forward, energy flows up. Spiral the pinky fingers inward. As you tuck the pelvis slightly underneath you, heel toe your left foot, the outer edge of the mat. As you exhale, tuck the toes, lizard pose, plant the hands inside your left foot. Maybe shift your weight forward and back, keeping that gentle up dog in your chest. As you begin to find strength here, then walk your hands the diagonal to the right hand corner of your mat, deepening the stretch in your hips your hamstrings. Gently walk it back. Drop the back knee, untuck the back toes. Salamba Anjane by way of Ardha Hanumanasana half splits. Again, if you feel the weight shifting into your right hip, even it out. Flex the lower left toes back towards your face. Maybe use your hands. Think up dog in your chest as you lengthen the back of your neck. Releasing all that tension. Plant the left foot down. Tuck the back toes, runners twist. Right hand plants down. Open the left arm high as you twist the body. Gaze towards your left fingertips. That drishti is important. As you make your way to horizon lunge. Reach the left arm back by firmly planting that right hand down so you're twisting and reaching. Come back through center. Reach the left arm forward, right hand forward. Step it up, ragdoll. Take the breath, take the time. As you notice, I'm swaying side to side. If you wanna find movement, that's great. Energy is just movement. If stillness is there, take it. One more breath on your own. Releasing the hands, we inhale to lift and lengthen. Exhale, tiger breath. Again, twice more. Inhale. Once more. Slowly roll up, bend your knees slightly, one vertebrae at a time. 
Inhaling the arms all the way back up towards the ceiling. Steeple grip the fingers. Drive the shoulders back and down. Inhale, back bend, squeeze your bum. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, plant your hands down. Instead of back into your plank, firm up the legs. Drop the knees down first. Chest in your chin and stay. Think about connecting the fingertips to your mat. Think about gazing forward, softening the gaze. Snake it through to your cobra. Take an inhale. Exhale, child's pose. Take three breaths here. Going back to your ujjayi breath. Last one. Slowly roll all the way up. I want you to cross your ankles behind you. Sit down onto your glutes and then shift your weight a little bit towards the center of the mat. Bring the legs together. Adjust clothing as is as we catch your reverse plank. While you flex the toes back towards your face, squeeze your inner thighs together. Plant the hands about six inches behind your glutes and the fingertips are facing towards your body. Now, your hands are slightly outside of your hips, but right underneath your shoulders. Squeeze your shoulder blades back and down. Lock and load the arms. Squeeze the inner thighs together. When we exhale, we lift the hips. Take an inhale. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Good. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Two more. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Last one, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. And then bring the soles of your feet closer to your glutes. Lower down all the way onto your spine as we make your way into some more abdominal work. Think about your arms reaching towards your heels. As they reach towards your heels, I want you to start rolling up one vertebra at a time, keeping your arms reaching towards your shin. So your heels and as your chest lifts, your arms are gonna to lift too. Inhale, lower. Good, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. If you feel like, hear my hip popping, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, good, six more. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, articulating through your spine. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, four more. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, three. Two. And last one. Bring it all the way to the top. Take a breath in, slowly lower that back down. Bring the heels closer to your glutes. Easy bridge pose. At this moment, take your hands behind you. Shimmy your shoulders underneath you. So your bada hosting your hands, pressing them firmer into the floor. My pinky is screaming at me. My apologies. And then gently make your way back to your spine. Grab the backs of your knees, rock and roll forward and backwards, all the way to the top of your mat. Summer seat to heat. When you get there, it's a standing posture. Bring your feet together. You're staying facing that direction. Toes together, heels slightly apart. Activate your inner thighs. Open the palms forward and just take a few deep breaths. Coming back to that gentle intention of cleansing that throat area. Allowing for the space for you to be able to communicate with your body so that when you walk outside of these walls, you're able to communicate with the outside world from a more pleasant, structured, even place. As we move through your sun A, remember to give yourself grace with timing. If you like to float, float. 
you'd like to hop, hop, if you'd like to step, step. If you want to challenge yourself, challenge yourself. Either way, take this time to enjoy it. Find that joy in that journey for you. So as you find yourself at the top of your mat, inhale, reach your arms high, bring the palms together, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine, exhale, plant the hands down, step it back. Lower through your first chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, adho mukha, svanasana, downward facing dog. Hold for three breaths. Remember sending the hips high versus pressing the heels down. Inhale, high on the balls of your feet. Bend your knees, gaze forward. Separate jump to the top of your mat. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Bring the palms together. Exhale, hands come to heart space. Take a cleansing breath in. Sigh out through your mouth. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, plant the hands down. Lower through your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths here. Breathing, opening, cleansing, last one. High the balls of your feet, bend your knees, gaze forward, step or jump. Inhale to lengthen, exhale forward fold. Inhale, rise, sweep it all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center, one cleansing breath, maybe exhale, tiger breath. Inhale, sweep the arms high, exhale forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, plant the hands. Step or jump it back. Lower through your chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more breath. High in the balls of your feet. Bend your knees. Step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Utkatasana, fierce posture. So you're lowering the hips. Take the arms to the diagonal, framing your ears, bring them to prayer. Squeeze your shoulder blades back and down. Huge breath in. Exhale, twist to your right. As you twist to your right, take your left elbow outside your right thigh. Squeeze your inner thighs together. So if your feet are apart, bring them together. Squeeze here. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, twist to your left, taking that right elbow outside your left thigh. If you just want to use your oblique strength, take that journey there too, gazing over your left shoulder. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, plant the hands down. Set it back to a plank. Hold your plank. Take an inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a moment. Come back, notice that your glutes feel different. Inhaling your right leg high, shift your weight forward, drive your knee to your chest, step it through, warrior one. Spiral the back foot flat, shift the hips so that when they're square, reach the arms high, exhale, warrior two. As you open up the hips, stack the hips and the shoulders so you're not shifting forward and you're not shifting back. They're right on top of each other. Pull the lower belly in, inhale, reverse your warrior, exhale, flow through, plant the hands down, step it back, lower through your chaturanga or skip, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg high, shift your weight forward, drive it to your chest, warrior one, spiral the back foot flat, open up to a warrior two, opening up the hips, noticing if you're shifted, inhale, reverse, Exhale, flow through, plant the hands down, step it back, plank through chaturanga, or press it back to a downward facing dog. Three breaths here. Think about the hips lifting, your belly's drawn in, gentle tuck of the pelvis. And then high on the balls of your feet, bend your knees, gaze forward, step or jump at the top of your mat, inhale to lengthen, 
Exhale, fold deeper. Inhale, Utkatasana, fierce posture. Find the solid position first. Before we move into your twist, find the strength, that inner heat, that fire that draws the inner thighs together as you reach the arms and lengthen the back of your neck. Now remember, we talk about your throat chakra. We think it's always here, but it's also the back of your body. So trust that it's here and there. So now lengthen the back of it. Bring your hands to prayer. Exhale, twist to your right. As you gaze over your right shoulder, use your thoracic spine, that upper back to twist. Yes, you can use your strength of your upper body as well. But remember that gaze is crucial. That gives your body the reality of, I'm twisting this direction to follow suit from the crown of your head all the way down to your sacrum. Inhale, back through center, re-extend the arms. Exhale, twist to your left. As you twist to your left, the same rules apply. Twist the gaze, twist your upper spine. The lower spine continues, but you're squeezing your inner thighs together. Take a deep breath in, twist deeper. Inhale, back through center, re-extend the arms. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, take your crow pose. As you take your crow pose, you can stay as long as you'd like. We're gonna be here for three breaths. If crow is new for you, place your elbows right where they connect to your forearm, into your knee. Plant the hands down. As you balance, you draw the belly in, you shift your weight forward, and you start to lift your heels towards your glutes, pressing your fingertips into the mat, Lift your belly, open the heart, and then you flow through your own vinyasa and we meet back in child's pose. Meet me there, knees wide, toes to touch, arms reaching forward. So you think of that as like an energy flow, like the ocean reaching towards the beaches. It's that flow that you're looking for, that energy flow that goes through your body that travels up your shashuna, it's there. All the energy flows together. As we start to cleanse and open up the throat, we're allowing the communication of that energy to flow through your whole body. Take a deep breath in, let it go. See the color blue. Take it in, move back in downward facing dog. Beautiful work, everyone, keep it moving. Downward facing dog. Take a sigh out through your mouth. Uh, inhale the right leg high. Step it through. Warrior one. Spiral the back foot flat. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Now as you do so, don't puff the ribs out. Keep your floating ribs pulling together. As you feel the openness in your left leg, Open up to your warrior two. Big open hips. Bend the right knee deep. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Stay. Really feel the opening of the right side body here. Following the energy from your left hand all the way down, rather your right hand all the way down to your right hip crease. One more breath. Half moon. Reach your right arm forward, gaze about one foot in front of your right foot, and then press off your left foot, lifting it up, stacking the hips, stacking the shoulders. I wanted to look at you so you could see, but I don't need to look at you. Find that 90 degree angle, stack the shoulders, stack the hips. If Chapasana is in your practice, begin to grab that back foot with your left hand, press the ankle into your palm, Keeping the heart open. We float back to a warrior two, slowly. Star pose, heels in, toes out. Reach, reach, reach wide. Bring your hands behind you, Baddha Hasta. Inhale to open up the heart, open the throat. Now take your toes in and forward fold. Keeping the hands bound. Breathe here. Maybe shake the head yes, shake it no. Pulling the arms further from your glutes. 
and then gently release the hands of the mat. Place your left palm directly underneath your heart. Feel that your hips are square and sacrum is flat. As you inhale, exhale, open the right arm from the sky. As you twist, push the left hand into the floor. Feel your ribs floating away from your hips. Inhale, back to center. Right hand plants down. Take an inhale. Exhale, twist the left open. Gently return back to the mat. Inhale, lift up. Think about halfway, but it's more about the lengthening. Connect the belly. Walk yourself to a runner's twist. Top of your mat. Open the right arm for the ceiling. Twisting away from the floor. Horizon lunge, reaching the right arm all the way to the back of the room. Coming back through. Reach the right arm forward. Think charging lunge to an Anjane Asana. You're here, it's strong. It's opening up the front of that left leg. We drop the left knee. Bring it right back up. Drop, if it touches the mat, great. If it doesn't, don't sweat it. Drop it down, head lift. One more time, drop it down. Lift, strengthen through your right leg. Press up to a one-legged Tadasana, mountain pose. Use your shoulders pressing away as you push down into the earth. Cross your left over your right, eagle pose. Left arm underneath your right, finding that bind. If your toes bind, great. If they don't, don't sweat it. Sit one inch lower, squeeze the belly, pull the inner thighs together, and then round forward. Inhale back up. Unbind one leg at Tadasana, sends you back to a warrior two. As you float back, inhale, reverse. Hold this opening. Reach the left arm down your left leg. Maybe you take it away from the leg. Right arm reaches high. Your next exhale flows you all the way down to a plank pose. Begin to walk your hands back to catch me in a bear. So hands are underneath, knees underneath your hips, toes are tucked, knees are lifted. Take a deep breath. Slowly come down to the earth. Untuck the back toes, press back onto your heels. As we move into your camel, remember there are always several variations you can take. If you want to find the advancement, go for it. If not, just come with me. Come onto your knees. If you want more stability, you can tuck your toes. You can always leave them untucked. I'm going to take my palms, press them right back onto my lower spine with my fingers facing up towards the ceiling, squeezing my shoulder blades together, pressing my elbows closer to each other, and then I lift my sternum. I happen to be taking myself backwards, but the sternum is lifting towards the ceiling. You're opening the front side of your body as you press on your lower spine, you're connecting through your glutes. You're protecting it. Breathe here. If you want to take your hands down to your heels, go for it. If you want to take your hands flat onto the sole of your foot, be there as well. You're here for five breaths, I know. Easy breaths, take it in. Feel that cleansing process coming to fruition on this right side. Give me two more. One more. Easily, slowly come out of this. As you roll back up, bring your knees together, squeeze your inner thighs, sit back onto your heels, and find that female child's pose. As you can gently round your spine, maybe take your hands down to your heels, just letting that counter Counter-stretch happen. Slowly but surely coming all the way up. 
If you always need to take a break, you can always take child pose and stay there. You can grab some water. Otherwise, meet me back in downward facing dog. Lift the hips. Soften the heels down towards the earth. Strengthen up the upper body. Shake the neck no, shake it yes. Let's grab a hold of the left side. Lift the left leg high. Shift your weight forward, step it through. Warrior one. Phenomenal work, everyone. Let's keep it going. Square off the hips. Keep the chest open. Open up to your warrior two. Drop the shoulders, keep the pelvic region tucking underneath you. Now you have a different viewpoint. Pull the lower belly in, keep the hips open. Inhale to reverse, stay low. Hold this reverse position. Notice that left shoulder descends away from your left ear. Expansion, that left side body. Exhaling, half moon, shift your weight. Look one foot in front of your left foot. As you shift your weight, you begin to lift that right leg high. Stacking the hips, stacking the shoulders. If you want chapasana, you want to grab that back foot with your right hand. Grab the ankle. Push the ankle into your palm. Keeping that expansion in your heart now. Breathing here. Floating it back to a warrior two. As you float it back, find a star pose. Reach the arms wide, bind the hands behind you. Maybe opposite thumb on top this time. Inhale, open the heart and take the toes into the center of your body. Exhale, forward fold. As you take that forward fold, keep the bind folding over. So you're still pulling the upper body away from your glutes. Good. Take a few breaths here. Relax the neck, relax the shoulders as you pull the hands away from your glutes. One final breath. And then I'm gonna stay facing you Sorry, gently. I don't know that. Float back the hands of the earth. Take your left hand at the center of your heart. Open the right arm for the ceiling for a twist. Maybe you find a gentle half bind this time. Inhale to re-extend, exhale, that right hand comes down. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, twist. Maybe the left arm finds that half bind. Inhale, re-extend, exhale, come back. Inhale to lift, to lengthen, then come to a runner's twist at the top of your mat. Open the left arm high, take a breath in. Exhaling, horizon lunge. Gently come back through center. Reach the left arm forward, charging lunge. Anjane asana. We lift and lower that back knee. Down and lift. So we're strengthening that front leg, but also really opening up that right quad. One final time. Now step directly onto your left foot. One leg in Tadasana, mountain pose. Pull the shoulders away, lift the right knee high. Cross it over, eagle pose. Right arm underneath, right leg on top, remember that right toe. If it has the bind, go for it. If not, squeeze your inner thighs together, draw the elbows down towards your knees and arch your spine up towards the ceiling. Breathing gently. Sitting one inch lower, pulling the belly in. Slowly make your way to that one-legged Tadasana. Belly draws in, tuck your pelvis, float back to your warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Hold, find that expansion once more. As you exhale, flow through your plank pose. When you find your plank, we're gonna come back to your bear. So bend your knees, find a box pose with your knees lifted off the floor. Take three breaths of the lion, exhale. One more. Drop the knees down to the earth. 
This time, press back onto your heels, but keep your toes tucked. Lift onto your knees, open the front of your body, reach your arms high, exhale, take your hands behind your spine for your camel, or take the variation of your choice. Pull the elbows closer to each other, lift the sternum, and find your way in this gentle back bend. By gentle, this is extremely intense. <laughs> So, if you need to take a modification, you can always just stay in this position and untuck the toes. Finding this is more aggressive. Breathe here for two. Breathe here for one. Slowly draw the belly in, tuck the pelvis underneath you, untuck the toes, sit back. Give yourself that female child's pose once more. You're doing fantastic. As we make our way to our closing sequence, give yourself the space to breathe. Breathing in that color blue, releasing that self-consciousness, just knowing that you're at the right place at the right time, and you're able to have an open communication with your body, your mind, your spirit as you have that release, that active breath. Slowly come out of that. Meet me back in a downward facing dog. Lift the hips high, press the hands firmly in, lift the right leg high, step it through to a half pigeon. So your right knee comes to your right wrist, untuck the back toes, reach yourself forward, folding over that right shin. Now, Make sure that you're not sitting onto your right hip, that your hips are square to the floor. You're pulling your belly in to support you as you walk forward. Sometimes it's nice if you don't have a block readily available to you, you can put your hands, palms on top of each other. Rest your forehead. Breathe here. Every exhale, you allow that release to happen, right? Be willing to release today to let a more clearer intention of your energy flow occur. One more breath. Slowly begin to come out of that, sitting onto your right hip. We go for a wide-legged forward fold, so keep your left leg extended out. Extend your right leg out. If you want to make this a little more challenging, press firmly in behind you. And so you're on top of your sits bones, your hands are in front of you. Reach your arms high, exhaling, folding over, and just allowing this to happen. As you can see my hands, just let your hands reach. Now if this is the extent of your stretch, or even if it's there, if you find that your back is reaching towards the back of the room, just open up the heart. And maybe you do keep your hands behind you and just have that opening occur. This is quite intense, so take it as you need. But if you are folding all the way forward and you have a much uh, more deeper activation of the stretch, make sure that your heels are still on the inside so you're externally rotating those hips. Releasing the tension in your neck. Mm. And gently roll all the way up. Bring your hands outside your knees. Bring your legs together. Use your upper body. Shake that out. And then come on to your right side. Bend your knees. We're going to take ourselves right back to a downward facing dog. But you find a box pose first, right? Find stability. Tuck your toes. Lift the hips. Inhale your left leg high. Shift it forward. Half pigeon. Left side. Squaring off the hips, you're not sitting on to your left as you gently walk forward. Maybe you take your hands on top of each other like the last time. Maybe you have a block underneath your forehead. Maybe you're on your forearms, but this is a resistant way to move into this posture. I want you to find a more energetic way. So as you, what I mean by that is you can just rest here. I can rest here forever. We're not allowing the body to go deeper into the posture. Take your hands further away from you and then release. 
and know the difference or begin to learn the difference between pain and discomfort. Discomfort is something we get to work through. Pain is something we want to avoid. One more breath. Slowly coming out of this. Now again, I'll eventually face forward towards you, but otherwise you're going to extend your right leg out, left leg out, press further away. I have the island here to help me. Then pull the arms high, deep breath in, pull the ribs away from your hips, exhale, folding forward. Now as you find a second forward fold, feel free to make it more intense. Maybe you allow the resting of the forehead on two blocks. Maybe you truly allow the hips to release with every exhale. Coming back to that, what are you saying to your body when you're moving through these postures? Is that this is incredibly hard, that this is challenging and I'm willing to accept that challenge and move through this. That's up to you. As you open and cleanse that throat chakra. Gently begin to roll out of that. Bring your hands outside your knees, roll them in towards the center. Shake it out, Paschimottanasana. So you're staying exactly as you are. Just pull the flesh away from your sits bones, flex the toes back towards your face, reach the arms high. Exhale, forward fold. Now I'm gonna ask that you grab the tops, rather. You take the fingers, reach them towards the ball of your foot, and then pull back on your shoulders. It's a little more active here. Then you release the neck. Remember, we have to find that opposition. We found the front part of our neck. Now the back part of our neck is still part of that chakra area. That suddenly allows the heart to connect with the mind as we cleanse and open it up. This is that channel, that bottleneck. Breathing here. And then gently roll all the way up and then roll all the way onto your spine. We've had enough back bends today, but if you want to take an easy bridge pose just for good measure, or you want to take wheel, go for it. Pulling the heels closer to your glutes, lifting the hips up. Take the palms firmly into the ground, Badahasa them behind you, completely up to you. That is your call. But just taking a few cleansing breaths there. Releasing on the exhale. You're doing beautiful. Beautifully. And slowly come all the way down as we make our way to shoulder stand. If you're new to shoulder stand, listen closely. If you're not, feel free to go into it. We're going to be here for a few moments, but as you take your shoulder stand, take yourself all the way to plow first. So when you check out your plow, your legs are going to go all the way over your head. As you take them over your head, don't worry about touching, touching the floor, but much like your camel, we're going to have our palms at the base of our spine. This time our fingers are facing up. We're going to shimmy our shoulders underneath us and our elbows closer together, as close as you can. And you inhale one leg high, and then you inhale the second leg high. Eventually, you want to have your hips over your shoulders. Mm, easy breaths. Expanding. Making your way to plow. Keeping your legs straight. Keeping the connection to your lower spine. If deaf man's pose is in your practice, feel free to go to that place. If it's not, no worries. If you want to stay with legs up the wall, you can. And then you're slowly going to come all the way down onto your spine and find Shavasana. Take as much time as you need. Maybe there's a spinal twist that you want to take to finish off your practice there. It's your time to do that. Give about 20 more seconds. Maybe shifting side to side with your lower spine. Maybe a happy baby feels good to you in this moment. Or maybe just the simplicity of shaking your head no and shaking your head yes. And then find your way to Shavasana. 
and just be. Giving yourself this true moment to be at peace. Maybe you have music playing in the background or maybe you just get to listen to the sound of your breath and the sound of my voice. But let go of any labored breathing you have. Come back to that intention here. The communicative intention of opening up this section of your body to allow the energy to flow from your head to your heart and beyond. And if you have any thoughts that come through, just let them float on by. You know that they'll be there when this is continued to be done. Giving yourself grace, giving yourself a sense of ease. And what does it feel like to say something positive to yourself now? How does that resonate with you in this moment? If that feels really good to you, then do it again. Feel that energy lifting your body, your spirits. If that felt really good to you, say it again internally. And remember that we are in charge of the way that we speak. We are in charge of how we feel when we receive that communication back. This is your time to regain that responsibility. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Do that twice more. Inhale. Side out. One final time together. Inhale, a long body stretch. Reach your arms above your head. Reach your legs towards the opposite ends of the room. So you're connecting all the energy lines as you reach from your heart center. Exhale, knees come into your chest and fall onto one side or the other. Giving yourself that comfort, that joy of holding yourself. And then come all the way up to Sukhasana, a cross-legged position. Facing the front of the mat, bring your hands to prayer. And just tell yourself that you love yourself. And make it intentional. I love you, saying it to you. Inhale as you say it again, your thumbs to your third eye. Acknowledge that divine light that you fire up inside of yourself. That way you're able to acknowledge and honor it in others as we bow and say, Namaste. Thank you all for joining me today in an honor. I hope, it is an honor rather, and I hope that you gain some knowledge of how you're able to speak to yourself as you opened up that beautiful area of your chakra system. And again, thank you for joining me. My name is Tom Schrenner in association with City Yoga. Um, in Dallas, Texas. So I look forward to seeing you again and feel free to leave a comment or like the video and I look forward to sharing more with you. Otherwise, you can also find me on Instagram at Thomas Renner Official or Facebook at Thomas Christopher Renner. Sending you all my love. Have a fabulous day.